Sports Live and ATL David here. I just want to say thank you, Atlanta Braves, for this gut-wrenching feeling right now. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Clearly capable of winning the World Series. And we have to sit here and listen to the Washington Nationals, Dave Martinez, get prepared to play in the World Series. Are you serious? Talk about kicking someone when they're down. I, I mean, I didn't think the sports guys could get any worse to us with what we had to go through this, you know, this week. But now that, I mean, Atlanta Braves, so much damn talent, players, coaches, in history since 1991, basically, one World Series. And this was another opportunity, a Washington Nationals team that underachieved so much. And now they're in the World Series when it really should be you or the Dodgers. Just a shame. I mean, like I said, sports gods, thank you, because you slapped us a, another embarrassment. I mean, it, it, it's gut-wrenching to see the Washington Nationals in the World Series. It is. It's disgusting. Which brings me to the Falcons issue. How come the Falcons don't have Super Bowl championships? Let this sink in, Falcon fans. Rich McKay, Thomas Dimitrov, Dan Quinn. What do they all have in common? I do believe every single one of them have, have, have won a Super Bowl championship as a member of a coaching staff. I believe Rich McKay with the Bucks, Obviously, Thomas Dimitrov being the general manager of the Patriots with Tom Brady. Dan Quinn with the Legion of Boom in Seattle under Pete Carroll. All that Super Bowl championship pedigree. And we're still waiting for a Super Bowl championship. And we're going through these, same, these issues that below average teams go through. So obviously, all, all your Super Bowl championship pedigree does not translate into picking Super Bowl championship players here in Atlanta or Super Bowl championship coaches here in Atlanta. I, I blame the, the front office too. I love Arthur Blank. Arthur Blank trusted all his money and Thomas Dimitrov coming over from the world champion consistent Patriots. Rich McKay before that. Dan Quinn. Arthur Blank picked all y'all because y'all know knew what it took to win Super Bowls and or a Super Bowl. And what have y'all brought us? Two straight mediocre years. Super Bowl choke. 2017 playoffs at the one. 2004 loss in the playoffs. 2012 choke in the NFC Championship game. 2011 playoff with two points. 2008 wild card loss. Not to mention the stuff in 2002 when Michael Vick and McKay were here. And Dimitrov first got here. Are you kidding me? All the Super Bowl pedigrees that we have on our organization, coaching staff and above, and we're still wondering why we're not Super Bowl champions or haven't won one, and wondering why we're one and five. That's sad, man. Let that sink in, Falcon fans. Let that sink in. And then with the Braves, the pedigree that of the coaches that we've had, and we're watching... Not only one World Series out of numerous opportunities, but we're watching the Washington Nationals sweep the Cardinals, a team that we're clearly better than and should have beat, and the Nationals, a team that we have beaten and we're clearly better than. So let that sink in too, Braves fans. Disgusting, man. Georgia, Kirby Smart coming from an Alabama uh, a national championship pedigree with Nick Saban. And we blew so far. What are we looking at? A blown national championship game, a blown um, SEC championship that would have catapulted us into the playoffs. And then what happened against South Carolina? And now we must run the table and win the title game to get in the playoffs. Let all that sink in, Georgia sports fans, Atlanta City sports fans. Let that sink in. Let it sink in.